Thank you for joining us here today to announce new legislation to support uh, victims of online doxing. Doxing started as a niche tactic among computer hackers in the 90s. Now, researchers estimate it affects millions of Americans. Doxers publish someone's private information online, like their address or social security number, to expose them to harassment and even threats of physical harm. San Diegan Kathy Molig, a trans youth advocate, says her work made her a target. My family and I have felt the chilling effects of doxing firsthand. We have experienced sleepless nights, the anxiety, the overwhelming sense of vulnerability. But we refuse to be silenced by fear. An Anti-Defamation League survey found most doxing attacks are hate-based. They target protected identities like sexual orientation, gender, or religion. It's already a crime. But the bill's co-sponsor, Assemblymember Chris Ward, says it can be hard to prosecute. The Doxing Victims Recourse Act will provide deterrence for doxing activity in the first place, but where it happens, it will hold offenders accountable and allow victims of the, uh, for the opportunity to get their lives back on track after a traumatic experience. This new act would give victims a way to seek civil justice, damages up to $30,000 and legal costs. Katie Hyson, KPBS News.